Hello, my name is Charles Davis. I want to welcome you to Serio Design FX, the ultimate brand design channel. This channel, we review brand design strategies and software reviews. This particular video is going to be a particular importance because they took the bait. This is going to be about the Trump campaign's brand strategy. Recently, the attorney general appointee that Trump started with had to step down. They took the bait. Realized he has promised to take apart the deep state organization of the government and also the news media's slanting of information. And Matt Gates, the one that he appointed initially, was a bait for them to show who they are. And they took it. People on the news media, they jumped on it. They started slanting the information. And now you see them having to eat crow on television programs, having to clean up the mess. And it's going to get worse. Because just recently, Gates came out and said it was the, someone in the Department of Justice, an ex employee had approached his father and tried to blackmail them. Don't you think Trump was smart enough to know that this was going on and they used him as a bait? If you look, if you look at the woman that he put in after this all hit the news, don't you think she was more qualified than him? Don't you think? I mean, she was more qualified than him. So why would he put Matt up there? To, because he needed to draw out the truth. I've been following this. I'm a brand strategist. And I've been watching Donald Trump with particular interest. This is, may surprise you. And I'm quite sure it will. Who's really behind all this? It is Google. They have always said, number one, that Google controls the algorithm and we don't know what it's doing. You will see recently that they're trying to break up Google, take Chrome out of Google's hands because they want to understand how this thing is controlling the Internet. It is a monopoly. They've done it before. AT&T had this when it had Western Digital and they broke it up back in the 70s. This is not new. However, this all stems from a comment by the head of Google several years ago who said the Internet is a cesspool and brands are the solution. So Google knew that the Internet was becoming a cesspool of misinformation and they needed to know how to clean it up. So what they have done is, when I first read it, I thought they were talking about CNN and all these big brands. No. They incentivize the personal brands on YouTube. What you may not realize is that, or maybe you do, that YouTube channels, when they reach a certain point, they get monetized. Google pays them a portion of the ads that run during their YouTube channel audience. That gives the personal brands a reason to review content. These are called reaction videos. And now what makes it so powerful is because the public submits content to the brand influencers to review on their channels. So they have made the public a watchdog of social media. That is why when Kamala Harris started attacking 
Trump, the people dug into Kamala Harris's background because that was a mistake to attack another person's character means they're going to start looking at your character. And they found a lot of dirt on everybody. The only difference is Trump admitted, he said, yeah, that's true, I did that. However, we're also seeing that they are retracting all these cases because they can't try him while he's in office. So it's a waste of time. It's a waste of time in a way he has won. And when he cleans up the government, because first it's going to be the news media. You're seeing MSNBC, CNN. They're canceling these people, cutting their salaries because they had slanted the information and misinformed the public. And the really messed up part about it is the news media outlets has been doing this for decades. We have never really gotten straight information so that we can make an informed decision about our political choices. That's how long this is going on. The next thing he's going to attack is going to be the education system. Because the education system has failed. It has it is a severe failure point. Because realize those people in news media... They got that degree, and the education system is the ones that taught them to do that. There were some ethics violations, and even more, that these people in the news media who thought that they have carte blanche on what they can say on the Internet claiming free speech, that's not true. You don't have free speech on these social media platforms. You can say it in the street in your personal life. However... If you look carefully, when you take a position at a corporation, you sign this document called corporate policy. Most people don't read it. They sign it and don't think it means anything. It means a whole lot because the corporate policy has the wording. If you do something that makes or reflects poorly on the corporation, they are grounds for termination. Also, these social media platforms, and this is all of them, you have that document you said, you click this checkbox, you said, I read and I agreed to the terms and agreement in this document. Everybody checks that box, but nobody ever reads that document. And I've seen lawsuits won because of what was in that document and the person was brought to court because they violated it that's how serious this is the platforms now are going to be using this to weed out the bad actors it's going to be through the federal commission and the, the department of justice so the real question is will you be on brand in 2025 because the American brand stands for something. And so now, as you can see in the media, they're weeding out the things that don't stand for the American brand. This here is significant. We're going to be seeing this for the next few years. And if you like my content, I'll be going more in depth in other ways that branding is going to affect the way we live and affect humanity.